Idiopathic subglottic stenosis describes a condition that is oftentimes seen in women. Inflammation and ultimately scar tissue develops below the vocal cords, which can over time cause significant breathing difficulties. This scar tissue needs to be treated either in the operating room with laser or with balloon dilation. But in many cases, this can also be done in the office via steroid injection. In this video, you're looking at a subglottic stenosis with an approximate 30% narrowing with some inflammation with a normal airway below with normal trachea rings. The steroids are bound to a salt that keeps the medication in place for several weeks where it can fight inflammation and scar tissue. During the procedure, I'm using a very thin needle through the neck to perform the injection. I'm focusing on placing the needle tip very carefully directly under the mucous membrane without entering the airway before injecting the steroids to maximize the amount of steroids placed into the stenosis itself without leaking into the windpipe. During the procedure, I will inject the entire inflamed area by advancing my needle circumferentially around the front and side walls of the subglottis. In some cases, I even advance the needle through the lumen into the stenosed back wall, which is not necessary in this case. 